I'm Lisa from Brunette Wig Place, and today I am so excited to be bringing you a review for Wig Studio One. Just a reminder before I get started, Wig Studio One has a wonderful private online Facebook group called Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group, and we would love for you to come over and join that group. So today I am so excited to be showing you this new style for 2021 by Aesthetica Designs. This is Hudson and she is just gorgeous. She is part of their High Society collection, which is their collection of monotop lace front wigs. So let's get started and I will tell you a whole lot more about Hudson. <laughs> Hudson is a really pretty, just a mid-length, just past the shoulders, um, almost kind of a lob style, but she does have some layering here in the front. Very pretty. I love the way the layers point towards the neck, just very flattering to the face. It also lightens her up on the end so that she's not a heavy blunt cut, which is really, really nice. Considering the fact that she's a monotop, you know, and everything. Um, she is medium density. So, um, you know, it's just nice to have that layering, gives her really pretty movement and all of that. So very pretty. So let me do a turn so I can show her to you from all sides and then we can get into all of her specifications and everything. So, like I said, here she is from the front. Show you those pretty layers again. This is my right. left. Okay, and back to the front. So cap construction wise, she is a lace front and a mono, full mono top. So I have her parted just the way she came out of the box. I don't like to do a whole lot to these wigs so that you can see what they look like right out of the box. But I do want to point out that she is sort of right center parted right now. You could put her in exact center if you wanted to. You could also put her you know, do a left side part on her. It's hard to do on video, but just so you can kind of get an idea. You know, you could go from the left if you want to. You could go, I would probably prefer her further to the right. So, but just know that you have all those parting options. You can part her wherever your heart desires, which is really, really nice. So I'll show you this mono part on her. So there's her mono part, and I love it because you have a parting all the way back to the crown, which is really nice. Here is her lace front, which is also very nice. Ear tabs. The color on this one, by the way, is R610. I'll talk more about the color in just a bit, but I have really good coverage with those ear tabs. I have just a tiny bit of bio hair here, so if you have more bio hair, you know, that just gives you an idea of what the coverage is, but really, really good coverage. This is an average size cap, and I am petite average, but it's still, I got it to fit. I did have to take the adjusters in. So ear to ear, it's fitting me very nicely, but it's a little bit big in the circumference and forehead to nape on me, but it's not bad. The one thing that's kind of nice about that extra uh, cap forehead to nape. It's not too much. She does have an extended nape, which is really nice for styling and it does give me really great coverage, you know, all the way around there. So I'm very, very happy with that. Okay, so measurement wise on her, her bang layer is 10 inches. Her side measurement is 11 inches. She is 18 inches from the crown and then her nape is 8.5 inches. So very nice, you have lots of length there. Really, really pretty. Weight-wise, she is 4.94 ounces. So, very, very pretty. Okay, I am gonna take her off and we can look at her interior cap construction. Okay, let's look at interior cap construction for Hudson by Aesthetica Designs. So this is what I'm talking about, full monofilament top, hand tied up there, and then you have a lace front that extends down the ear tabs, which is really, really nice. And I'll show you in a bit, uh, that's really great for styling. She has uh, just, not velvet covered ear tabs, but just a soft fabric. Open wefted cap. She has an open wefted extended nape and she has hook adjusters.
So here is her lace front from the inside. And then here you can see more of that mono top. Looks very nice. Okay, so the color on this particular Hudson is R610, which is one of their very popular brunette colors, very pretty colors. So you have a base color of a six, and then you have a 10 that is blended with that six, which is really, really pretty. So they describe R610 as a chestnut brown and medium ash brown blend, or I've also seen it described as a light brown blend. So, but I do think that it looks a little bit, you know, it has a little bit of, ashiness to it. Now the six is always a bit warmer, so it just has a hint of ash, which is nice. Um, I think it makes the color a very nice neutral brunette, which is a good color for a lot of us that like to wear these brunettes. So very, very pretty color. I've had this color in numerous wigs. I've always been really, really happy with it. In fact, it was, I think the first brunette that I tried from Aesthetica and I've literally had it in, I don't know. <laughs> multiple wigs so beautiful beautiful shade and we'll take it outside so we can see it in the natural light too in just a bit but I've got pretty good lighting in here so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like in the indoor light very pretty color especially on this it's very pretty on this particular style too I love this style the style is so on trend very chic very nice and as you'll see at the end of the video really fun to style Okay, let's take R610 outside in the natural light and we will look at it out there. So R610, this is under my patio cover. It's a bright sunny day, really good. I'm getting a really good, uh, you know, reflection of that, the 10 in that six, very pretty. Here it is in bright sun. Okay, Ready? back inside and we will cover styling on Hudson. I'm excited to tell you about the styling because she has a lot of options, which is really, really nice. So she is ear tuckable. I would consider her to be more medium density. And the only reason I say that is because she does have a lot of hair. A, mono, a lot of times monotop wigs, especially when you have some length on them, they do feel a little bit thicker. She does not have permatees or anything like that that's making her feel thick. There's, you might feel a little slight, there's just maybe a slight teasing at the root, but that I don't really consider that to be, you know, permatees. There's, it's not teased all throughout the wig and there's none on the top, of course, with the monotop. But I do, you know, you can probably see when you put her behind the ears that, you know, there's a little more hair there than there would be for a lower density wig. So that's why I would, I would consider her to be low medium density, if that makes sense. She's not, like I said, full or bulky or anything like that, but she does have a lot of hair. So, so glasses she works really, really well with. They're easy on, easy off, no problem. Oops, I, unless you poke yourself with them. They go up on my head very easily. So really, really great with the glasses and your, you know, your, your readers, your sunglasses, whatever. So while I have her behind the ears, she's really cute with a headband, of course. These layers are beautiful behind that headband. Very pretty. And you could stick the headband in there without putting it behind, you know, the hair behind your ears too. It looks cute like that too. Really, really cute. The thing I'm really excited about her is I love the fact that she has this long, the long bang layer. And then she also has the lace front extended down onto that ear tab because that makes her a great wig for doing like a half up, half down, you know, with. And this is a great style also, like say you went to work and you wore her down, which you could wear her down easily, but then you have to look down at your, you know, at your computer screen or whatever, you're in a meeting. You could just take a little claw clip with you in your purse and you could clip her back just temporarily, you know, or you could wear her that way too. But what I'm saying is it's really easy 
to be able to pull all those layers away from your face if you have a necessity, you know, to do that. And she looks really, really pretty. Of course, you could pull those back and you could twist them or you could braid them. That would be really pretty too. For the purposes of the video, I don't do too elaborate of <laughs> styling. The other thing I really love about her is that she is great in a ponytail. She has an extended nape and she just is a great length and great density to get a really nice ponytail. So again, you know, say you wear her down to work and it gets warm or whatever, and you know, you're going to your car and you wanna put her up. She's easy to throw up, you know, or you can just uh, wear her in a ponytail. You could put one of those cute scrunchies with a scarf or something like that. I'm just not using it so that you can really get a good view of the ponytail with this dark color. Really, really cute. I love a wig that you can put in a pony. So, and I also find that if you can put them up in a ponytail, you can also put them in a twist and you can do some really, really pretty updos with them. So, very cute. Very, very pretty wig. I think she's gonna be hot. She's gonna be a great seller. So I'm so excited about this new style. Hudson by Aesthetica Designs. And again, the color on this one is R610. I wanna thank Wig Studio One for sending me this wig to review for you all. There will be information below for purchase. And until next time, don't forget, you are absolutely beautiful. Bye. <laughs>